she is going to the vet to get spayed. You're not gonna shake? Yeah, so we'll find out tomorrow. Oh my goodness. So we're on our way back to the vet to pick Piper up. Eddie and I are here in the barn. Our job right now, it's, what is it, 7, 7.30? 7.30. 7.30 and our job is to bathe our dog Piper because she is going to the vet to get spayed tomorrow. And she has to go in a vehicle. She has to go she's in never a vehicle. been in one since we got her. Yeah, since she was like really small. So it's gonna be his vehicle. We're gonna wash her up. I'm just gonna fill the sink up with uh, soap and warm water and we'll just take bucket at a time and Keep cleaning her until she's clean, I guess. <laughs> I guess she's not gonna shake. So as I told you, tomorrow Piper is getting stayed and we needed to give the vet's office Piper's weight so that they could give us some medication that we give her tomorrow morning to help her relax when she comes in. And um, so Eddie was gonna weigh her here because he didn't wanna have to take her in twice. Like she's not used to being in cars and she's dirty and big. And so he was like, oh, can I just weigh her? And they were like, yeah, no problem. So he brought the bathroom scale out to weigh her. And I don't know, she was just too wiggly or heavy, I don't know, he couldn't get the weight. So then he called the vet and he was like, yeah, she weighs 160 pounds. And they were like, oh, um, we've never seen a St. Bernard weigh 160 pounds before. And he was like, oh, well, yeah, she, she's a big dog. And then I was like, you didn't tell him? He's like, no. And then, so anyway, they prescribed like a low dose. So she's not gonna get like overkill. And then they're gonna reweigh her before the surgery. But, so he gets home for lunch, he's like, how much do you guys think Piper weights? And we are like, or I was like, I don't know, like 100 pounds? And he's like, 100 pounds. I was like, yeah, I think she weighs 100 pounds. And then he was like, I said, why, how much does she weigh? And he's like, I don't know, I couldn't weigh her. And uh, so he thought she weighs 160 pounds. I don't think so. <laughs> the vet didn't think so either. <laughs> yeah, so we'll find out tomorrow how much she weighs. And how much do you think she weighs? Write it in the comments. Pause the video, write it in the comments. Let us know how much you think she weighs. We'll find out at the vet tomorrow. <laughs> I decided to brush her before we take her in and I'll show you what she looks like now. Pretty nice coat. Just how much hair I got. This is still her underside. So we're just gonna ask them to shave all that off if they can because we just can't get all these clumps out. So, I'll come back again in, an, uh, I guess, a couple hours, and uh, we'll load her up in the truck and take her to the vet. I'm gonna load Piper up in a minute here. I just have to move my mom's car out of the way. Is this door handle broken? No. This never gets used. The ceiling's pretty low in here. My pom pom's bumping the top. Yeah, it is cold. So, how do you operate that door? Pull the window down. Okay. Reach out and open it. In the summertime, it's not so bad. I got the window down anyway. Yeah, but your window roller is broken now, too. Yeah, I know, because I'm using it too much. <laughs> Piper's going to have to fit in here. I don't know. Ready? Okay, we don't really need the leash right now, but... Wow, that's a good idea. 
something if you pretty much need to hold on to the collar. Is there a sheet or something we could lay down on the truck bed? On the truck Not seat? out here. No? Come on, Piper. You're worried about it getting dirty? I'm worried about her not fitting on the floor. Come on. Here, why don't I go in and then I'll coax her in. So 130 pounds is what she weighs. I guess one for so she does. the second time. <laughs> a lot heavier than you thought. Yeah. Well, I did say 120 in the end. Oh, did you? Yeah. Max. I said 120 max. So, uh, she's all dropped off there and they're gonna take good care of her, call us if she needs to, or when she needs to be picked up and uh, we're gonna go get some coffees. No, it's not our truck. Look at the back. No. Nope. Cup of coffee. But he's doing a feed order. <laughs> yeah. So we wait. So we're on our way back to the vet to pick Piper up. Unfortunately, they did not do the surgery because she had some rashing on her stomach. Well, I guess a lot of rashing once they started shaving her. So they didn't want to do the operation in case she would get a uh, skin infection and, and it, the incision have trouble healing. So we're bringing her home and with some medicine to help clear that up. And then we'll have to bring her back again in a week or so for her spay. Picked her up, they gave her a really good brushing while she was asleep. Actually, I don't think, I think they said that was just through the day. She's all soft and fluffy and her belly's all shaved and she looks really good. So we're gonna, well, apart from the rash, but we're gonna, what's that? We're going to keep her, uh, keep her groomed show you the chunk they took off behind her ear. She was just full of matted hair in there. She's 
excited to be back home. My mom's still here babysitting the kids, so I'm gonna take Piper for a little walk. She's been cooped up in the clinic for the day and I think it would be nice to, for her to get a little bit of exercise. So, oh, I'm doing that now. Why are you walking into me? Why oh, you see somebody? We're back from her walk and of course it's spring so it's super muddy so I'm cleaning her off now and I'll just show you the rash that they're talking about. So this is actually a couple of days later but this is what it looks like. It's already doing quite a bit better. When I was speaking with the vet she mentioned this may be an issue with more long-haired farm dogs because they just carry so much moisture in the fur under their bellies. Piper always used to fall over for belly rubs and now we're thinking it's because she was so itchy since she doesn't do that quite as much anymore. We're definitely going to keep her belly shaved to keep her clean and comfortable and rash free. So we did get Piper spayed about two weeks after she first went in and she's doing so well. Her incision looks great. It's been a week since she was spayed. For the first couple of days we had her on the chain in the tree in the yard and she was just really the first couple of days was fine because she was kind of still sedated and she just kind of laid there but after that she was like just staring at the barn and barking so we brought her back in and we're just making sure to keep her belly clean and manure free so i'm gonna wash it with some soap special soap that they gave us and otherwise we're just supposed to keep her kind of calm and her energy down which is tricky but we think as long as nobody's like in the barn playing with her she's actually pretty relaxed so she's doing so good so thanks so much for watching and sticking out till the end to see an update on how her actual spay went and thanks for all your comments in the videos i'm loving that you're watching if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends if you can that would be so good for getting this channel some exposure and I hope to see you in the next video and thanks for supporting Dairy.